Okay, so I'm just gonna unsell my RAM really quickly again, so that, um, yeah, you guys know that's not fake, so this is actually a re-recorded one, this is not the same recording, in case you guys didn't know, but Jesus, just making sure. Okay, so unfortunately my iPod just died, which is what I was using to record this with, so, um, yeah, you guys are just gonna have to take my word for it. I'm gonna take the rest of the back panel off and I will record me putting this RAM in. So I'll be back in five to 10 minutes. I severely overestimated the time. I said five to 10 minutes, but uh, yeah, we're here now. And it was literally like 15 seconds for me. Um, so as you guys can see here, I need to clean out my fans because there's a cat's fucking ass in there, bro. But uh, yeah, here's my Wi Fi card. Here's my 2.2 slots. Um, this one is the one that's occupied, by the way. Here's my hard drive. Um, there's my battery. There's my socket. And there's the RAM, which is what we're interested in. So, yeah, what you guys want to do to uninstall it is you want to pull out on the pins. And then it should just pop up like that. And then, well, you're only going to have one stick of RAM. However, I have two. So I'm going to do the second one really quick. So both our sticks of RAM are uninstalled, so we're going to put in the RAM that came with the Nitro 5. And, um, i just put it in the wrong way again, that can be bad. So you're going to want to line it up. I put it in the other slot the other time, but it doesn't really matter, as both slots are compatible with the RAM. There's only two slots, so it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, there, there it is. There's our RAM installed. Um, so, uh, yeah. Let's, let's get into the video, boys. As you guys can see here, if we go to performance and if we go to memory, we have 7.9, 8.0 gigs installed. And, um, yeah, that's at 2666 speed, of course, because that's the speed that it came with. And, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do to counter the optimizations I've done. Okay, so here's what I normally play on, but, um, for this video, we're not just going to play on zero clock. I'm actually going to underclock my memory by about 220 and my core by about 100 because I have optimizations done to my computer. So this should make it um, uh, about even. It should counter the optimizations. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to 49 out like I said a minute ago in the video. Dropping under the bus. Um, I kind of started the recording late, but uh, we're on the computer now. Dropping down out of the bus, we're getting around 80, 60, 80 FPS. Dropping into the 50s. But, um, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put my fans on max really quick, and y'all will be able to see what it's like when they're on max. We're going to Weeping Woods, even though this is the enemy drop, so I'm probably going to have a short-lived time here. So let me just put my fans up on max real quick and we will see how we run. We are using almost all of our eight gigs of RAM right now. So that's unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. So if you wanna be streaming, you definitely will have to upgrade to 16 or else you're gonna suffer some pretty bad performance hits. Like even with 16, I still suffer some pretty bad performance hits. As Kylo probably knows. Okay, bud. Kind of sucks because that one game. So, this is my second recording. I'm still on all the same settings. But I go back and I look at it. And I'm using my Railtech microphone built into the laptop, which is not that great of a microphone. So it's like, oh, fuck. And I got, like, a really good shotgun off the rip. I got a purple pump. So that's unfortunate. It is what it is, though. And you can't do anything about it. So, um, yeah, farming around, just walking around in Weeping Woods. We are... Really not doing too bad. The reason I'm doing this in Team Rumble, by the way, is because it is the, um, most intense game mode because of all the people and the builds in the end game it is actually more intense than um most arena lobbies you will be in unless it's like div 10 but if you're playing div 10 
scrims all the time, then you're probably going to want to look for something with 1660 Ti at least. 1650 is not where it's at. If you guys can't tell yet, I have dedication to you guys. The, the videos on of Season 4 haven't been doing too hot recently, not going to lie. They've actually done kind of shit. But, um... I'm still going to make this one spend m multiple more hours on this video oh yeah and not get paid for it so the least you can do is leave a like and subscribe to the channel because then maybe one day i can actually get paid for it so i'm i've already put multiple hours i've already uninstalled and reinstalled ram six different like i'm, I'm I, I i took off my heat sinks earlier like i took off my fans like my the, the what whatever you want to call it the fan thing and i actually looked at my cpu and gpu like the actual die, the the cat, the the thing, the actual thing, and um, they were actually pretty small, not gonna lie. But um, yeah. So then it was after I did that and put my RAM back in, cause I was gonna edit, that I figured out that oh shit. I used the wrong fucking microphone. So then I had to take it apart again, recorded it with the wrong microphone again. This is the third time I've had it apart and put it back together. And yeah, so if you guys can't tell my dedication yet, then yeah, hopefully you guys can now because I put so much time into this video. I've already put like probably four hours because I planned it out, planned what I'm going to do for the video, planned how long the video is going to be, and I need to edit it to get down below that. I'm planning on keeping this under 12 minutes, so... There's literally 12 people in the game, Jesus. Yeah, if I did have 16 gigs right now, you guys would be seeing, like, over 8 gigs of RAM usage right now. So, I hope you guys can tell that, yes, I actually- I forgot to side grade my charge, frick! I hope you guys can tell that I'm actually not lying, because I got accused for lying a couple times ago, and it's like, what the fuck? I don't have time for your fucking shit if you're gonna call me a fucking liar, bro. Well, he landed on me and got absolutely shit on. Medkit? Really? You know what? Not. I'm just gonna pop this. Tracking still on point. My tracking's actually been better quite recently because of playing Valorant a bunch. This is pretty much in the middle of all the fighting, kind of, as much as we're going to be able to get because there's only 10 people in this zone, which is still a little bit more dense than pubs, but yeah, not as dense as it we would like it to be. So I think Fortnite's just dying. Don't kill me. Don't comment i don't fucking suck for that because that's my honest opinion i'm not just saying that for the meme because genuinely the videos haven't done great everything hasn't been fun i genuinely think the, the game's dying i don't want it to because i've had so many good moments on this game so many good times with friends i don't want this game to die However, that's what it's looking like it's going to be, and that's the unfortunate truth. Why do they have the fucking safe skin on? Oh, yo, fuck off, bro. That didn't work out. Oh, what is that? What is that? That was really weird.
yeah, I'm frame lagging a bit. Do you mind? Where the f My frame times just took off right there for a sec. Oh my god, I'm getting like 10 FPS right now. Like, not even capping. Boom! Boom! The fuck? Peek it, you won't. Happened there, bud. There we go. See now, that FPS is more stable. Yeah, it feels better now. I think I'm just gonna break this all down. There we go. And I got an assist and I hit him for 99. That's unfortunate, bro. Fuck. Oh, I did it! I think he just gave up. Oh, well, that's a GG. Sorry I didn't talk a lot. I this time wasn't that fun, if I'm being completely honest. It was definitely more competitive amongst me and another player, but I can't really say anything. Um, I really do think that Fortnite is on a slow decline down and is slowly just becoming a game that's not fun to play. But, I do agree with what Tfue said, that the game is not in an, in an esports state or in a competitive state. I feel like they're focusing more on content this season, with like shockwaves and stuff. But I mean, then again, you can argue those can be used for competitive too, by shockwaving into boxes and stuff. But, I feel like Epic's trying to focus more on content. But, I feel like the thing that would make all the content in Fortnite better and everyone attracted to the game again would be if they just removed skill based matchmaking or loosened it up or something because even in team rumble bro everyone I go up against is as good or better than me and I'm forced to land on them and one pump them right when I land or else I got I don't know I just saying this might be the last Fortnite on the Asian Archer 5 video that I make, even though they do really, really well. I'm just gonna have to move on. But, I mean, truth be told, playing Fortnite for 20 minutes to record one video, 20 minutes every f three months, I guess I could still do it. If the videos keep popping off, I guess I'll still do them. 20 likes and I'll do a 16 gig test. Without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.